definitely strong cask influence. Vanilla note, strong vanilla note. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today, ta-ta, we have the first time a whiskey from South Africa. It's called Baines Cape Mountain, 43% ABV, and it's a single grain whiskey. South Africa, a booming country. Um, and well, there are distilleries in Scotland, famous distilleries in Scotland, which are already in the possession of a company from South Africa. Mm, yeah, South Africa uh, has some tradition in producing whiskey. They have a tradition um, with the British Empire and uh, then I think the British were driven out of the country by the Netherlands by the Dutch. What are they saying here on the label? Baines Cape Mountain whiskey celebrates the craft of distilling high quality spirits inspired by South African pioneers. This distinctive whiskey is produced at the James Sedwick distillery. James, so this was a British or an English, which dates back to the early 19, uh, 1850s quite a time, situated at the foothills of the Baines Clough Pass on the Burke River in Wellington, in Wellington. With every sip you will experience the taste of 150 years of the art of distilling, award-winning spirits using Cape Mountain water. Distilled and matured by James Sedwick Distillery. Alcohol reduces driving ability. Don't drink and drive. Officially big label. Our master distiller skillfully crafts this elegant single grain whiskey using Cape Mountain water. Ah, that flows over 850 million year old sandstone and in Dinius Feinbos. I'm afraid I haven't looked up that word. The whiskey is then left to mature for years in fine oak casks, giving in a harmonious balance of delicate aromas and distinctive tastes. Um, I looked it up and uh, this whiskey matured for three years in first fill ex bourbon casks, quite a time, and then it was uh, filled into new oak casks for further two years. So two years in brand new oak casks and three years in ex-bourbon casks, so there should be quite a freight of cask aroma in this whiskey. And it's a screw top. And the single grain aroma should be quite light. And the cask, even when it's uh, ex-bourbon cask, which is quite elegant and smooth, uh, but there are two years in different first brand new juvenile oak cask and this might be quite strong, quite heavy. Well, have a look. <sighs> Definitely strong cask influence. Vanilla note, strong vanilla note. And in the back there's the caramel. Yeah. And it's not too sweet. It's not sour. Has some, well, florals, floral, flowers, like a blooming arrangement of flowers. Caramel and vanilla. So the casks are have given a lot of aroma into this whiskey. Some heavy spices, 
coming up. Oakiness, no bitterness. So the typical bitterness of grain whiskies, which lay for years and years in re re reused casks where the tannins come out of the oak. No, this one is fresh oak. First fill ex bourbon. A wonderful, sweet, mellow spiciness on your tongue. Now it's gone or reduced and goes over in a long, long aftertaste. No bitterness and smooth. A wonderful single grain for sipping neat. Yes. I like it. South Africa, a rising country, exporting to the world market and whiskey is one of their products. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come and have a look at our whiskey database. Probably somebody has already given in, given in some tasting notes for this whiskey.